Hello and welcome to the October edition of this month's experiment. We're here at the Reuben H. Fleet Science Center in San Diego, California. I'm Nicole Schiffer. And I'm Brandon Elliott. So we want to let you know we have a new exhibition here at the fleet called Animal Grossology. Ew. Ew. Owl um, pellets and, and fly dung galore. Uh, yeah, definitely. So we're going to be doing an experiment to kind of go along with the whole Grossology theme. I'm going to tell you what you need, but of course, if you need to find any of the supplies, you can look them up on our website, www.rhfleet.org, as always. All right, here we go. The supplies you will need is... By the way, can I interrupt by saying this is going to be the grossest experiment ever. Grossology. Hence, yes. grossology. Yes, all right. Thank Sorry, you. Sorry, go ahead. Thanks for the interruption. So you're going to need a big plastic bowl with some ice water in it, um, four plastic bags, a couple of thermometers, little ones like this, and some vegetable shortening, just like this, this really nice yucky stuff you use in uh, cooking all those delicious things you like to eat. All right, so... You ready to go? I am ready. Let's do it. So we're going to test the effectiveness of animal blubber, a.k.a. fat. So I guess I'm going to put fat all around my hand on one arm, and then the other hand's going to be just plastic bags, and I'm going to dip them into the ice water, and we're going to see how long I can keep my hands in there. And then we're also going to see the temperature that right. it gets to. Right. All right, so we're going to make, let's make the animal blubber one first. Okay. So you're going to take your Crisco or shortening. Do you mind right opening there? the... Yeah, sure. Just look there. You wow. know, it's a little, it's a little wow. slimy. It's a little greasy. It is. So and you're going to put it into a bag. And you know, you need a few spatulas full. You want to get a firmer spatula. There we go. We're just filling that bag up with that <laughs> shortening. Yeah, this is almost easier to just get it with your hands, but maybe a better, a big spoon. Really? <laughs> we'll just get it nice in the bag, just like that. I, I think that's enough. That's enough? Okay, and then just wipe your hands on the table. Yeah. And then I'm going to protect my hand <laughs> in a glove. I don't know why. I already have Crisco all over it. But maybe when you do this at home, you'll be cleaner. And I'm gonna stick it into my Crisco filled bag. All right, and then we're gonna put the thermometer in here, the one with just my hand. Other way around here. <laughs> All right, and then this hand is just gonna have a plastic bag on it. Right. We're gonna go ahead and do two actually, because remember we've got two layers of plastic here. We want to keep this experiment as consistent as possible between the two. Exactly. So our only variable is gonna be the Crisco right. so we shortening. Have thermometer. This is our second thermometer. It goes right in there. There we go. Alright, so this is like I'm heading into Glacier Bay in Alaska now, right? Right. I'm just diving on in. Alright. And we're gonna see how my skin will withstand the cold in comparison to like a polar bear skin. You ready? <laughs> It's really cold. Well, which one's cold, though? Um, actually, it's already really obvious that the animal blubber is keeping my hand warmer. And just after a few seconds. Um, the other one's really cold. All right. <gasps> okay, can you so read we'll it we'll check the temperature here. That is. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that was a, well, according to my thermometer, it was a brisk 65 degrees, which, as you can tell, is a little cold <laughs> for her. It's you, San Diego. Right, right. <laughs> That is cold. You've got the shock of the cold temperature too, and it didn't quite register on the thermometer quite yet because you didn't leave your hand in long enough. Okay, but let's this try hand, it. Let's try it again. All right, <laughs> fine. Let's try it one more time. And for right. the sake of experimentation and being accurate and all that, all that jazz, I'm actually gonna. Now this whole time you've been able to have your. I have, and I, I'm warm. I'm Can you feel it at all? I would or? like a jacket out of animal blubber. Oh, all right. <laughs> Wouldn't you? Okay. It's the next big thing. Okay. Okay, it's really cold. Okay, okay. All Read right. the thermometer. <laughs> all right, there we go. Oh, much better. Yeah, we're all the way down to 54 <laughs> degrees now. So The average ocean water temperature. Right, right, pretty much. <laughs> but that whole time you've been doing that, you've been able to have your hand with the yeah. blubber around it. Do you want to see the temperature? Yeah, let's go ahead and take a look. This is great. Look at all this animal fat. Now, this is really interesting. If we can... 
if we can actually take a look at the thermometer here, you can see the temperature's way higher. It's almost all the way up to almost 85, 86 That's degrees That's what I'm there. talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So it not only you know? kept her hand warm, but it insulated a lot of that warmth that was already coming from your hand to begin with. So that's pretty that neat. So a lot of animals like whales and polar bears and seals and things like that, they've got a thick layer of blubber to help keep them warm underwater, just like this, even if they're frigid temperatures in the Arctic. So it's pretty... So let's race. Let's race. Let's see who can handle the cold All for right. the longest amount of time. <clears throat> okay. So we've both made gloves out of uh, shortening or animal blubber. And I'm going to be a seal. I'm going to be a polar bear. All right, let's race. All right. All right, wait, um, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I have to put this aside. And then we'll bring this in close. All oh. right, here we go. You ready? No, that didn't work either. So I'll go in the same one here. Ready? One. Wait, 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 wait. I think I sprung a leak. All right, I'm ready. Here we go. All right, ready. One, two, three, in we go. Isn't that comfortable? That is really nice. That's really amazing. You can really tell the difference. Yeah. There. Stick yeah. your other hand in. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. It's really cold. <laughs> See? All right, yeah. <clears throat> uh, you lose because you just took your hand out. Right. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was less than a minute. I lose. I'm sorry, yeah. So polar Seal bears. Seal beats. Yes, yes. Polar bear? Seer, well, bears beat today. Battlestar Galactica. Galactica. So polar bears have about four inches of blubber, and a gray whale has a ton of blubber, all the way up to about 16 inches thick, you know, and they have it all over them. So they've, you know, they've got it on their flippers and on their, on their, on their dorsal fin and on their face and all around them, you know, really? just a little bit right there. So, I mean, that's how they stay nice and warm in the, in the cold waters. That's how it works. Yeah, Grossology. so next time we're going to take a, a dive in with blubber coated Definitely. suits, I think, yes. once we make it big. Definitely try this at home and see how those animals are able to, to, to last underwater so long. Yeah, this experiment's great. It's really gross. Try it out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this month's experiment. Do come into the museum to see Grossology. It's going to be even grosser than this, let me tell you, right? Absolutely. Super. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, do, do try, try this, this at home. home. So gross. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, wow.